in EDIUS, and this is EDIUS for Workgroups version 7, uh, if you want to do transitions or composites between different videos, you stack them on different layers. Now each layer actually has another track hiding in the middle or underneath, and that's the alpha or mixer track where you can put keys and chroma keys, and you can also put transition effects. Now typically a transition would happen between uh, between clips. So for example, the uh, clip here of the welder and maybe another shot. I could change that, I suppose, to be close up of the welding. Uh, you would normally grab a transition and put it on there, and then you would have that sort of tumble down effect between two clips. Okay, well that's great. Perhaps instead I would like to have the tumble down effect bring on this image that's composited over the top. Now the, the kinds of transitions that you can do here are a little bit limited. Uh, you could use the layouter to perform a wipe and you would perhaps um, park your playhead a little bit further along. Click, click on the keyframes to initiate them all, then go back to the beginning and modify the image. Whoops. Go to crop mode first and then modify the image like this and you would have a simple wipe down. But I don't want to do that, so let's put it back the way that it was. What I want is that nice tumble down effect. Let's try placing the tumble down effect that I have in my little folder here. Flip down. Let's try placing that on my clip. Now there is no butted up clips here, so I can't put it, as I could down here, between two clips because there is nothing here. There's an empty gap on the left and a clip on the right, so I can't place it there. But what I can do is put it in the mix channel. So if I place it in the mix channel, you can see that the effect is now occupying this overlay or keying space. But the problem is when I play through the effect, it, it affects all of the image, including the background. Can you see how our welder is sort of distorted there? Now I don't want the background to be distorted, I really only want this foreground element to be distorted. There's no way of doing that um, in EDIUS normally. So what I will do is I'll drag this clip out, make it a little bit longer. Then I'll put a new split there so that now we'll be operating between this clip and the same clip so that there's now an edit point. So if I put that flip down effect there and play, you can see that that pull down effect happens between the previous clip which is the same and the new clip which is the same but there is this distortion now all I have to do is turn off this clip and we can do that by pressing the number zero key on the keyboard or if we right mouse click we can disable the clip so zero or disabled so it turns grey but now the transition is still occurring between a clip which is a nothing clip and our incoming clip so if I hit play now the tumble down effect does not affect the background, but it does affect our new incoming clip. So that's how you apply animated transitions on overlaying clips when you want to use a transition effect.